Hi guys, just a quick comparison video between the Insta360 X3 and the Insta360 ONE RS 1 inch 360 edition. So the X3 launched on the 8th of September 2022 and the RS only launched a couple of months earlier than that on the 28th of June 2022. On paper, the RS is much better than the X3 in terms of image quality, but it also comes at $500 more than the X3, that's Australian dollars. So the way I usually like to use 360 videos is that I mix them with all my other camera footage. So 360 videos are generally the lowest quality of them all because they've got the lowest resolution. So if you can see, it's 5.7K for a 360 image on the X3 or the RS versus the 5.7K for around 150 degrees view on the GoPro Hero 11. So this video just compares these two cameras purely from the perspective of image quality, detail, sharpness, dynamic range, noise, and low light performance. So I've shot a lot of footage between these two cameras, but to be honest, I don't feel that there's a lot of difference between these two. So I can see areas of detail and I'm looking for the dynamic range differences. But at least in the daytime shots, I can't see a lot of differences there. So coming to the low light performance, I thought and I was pretty excited to find out how much better the RS would be with the X3. But unfortunately, I couldn't find a big difference. Even if you pixel peep, the difference is marginal. So as an added bonus, I also went ahead and shot some videos with the GoPro Hero 11. Uh, basically, I just wanted to show how much better the GoPro Hero 11 is also against all kinds of 360 cameras and how the 360 camera is obviously the lowest common denominator in all of the cameras that I have right now. But obviously it comes with an advantage and it has that 360 view which you can reframe later on. So it's got this place in the arsenal that I've got. In conclusion, uh, I feel pretty disappointed with the RS. It's got the hardware, uh, but somehow that hardware is not able to come up to the expectations that we want to see from that one inch sensor. Um, maybe they'll be able to upgrade the processor or something later on, uh, and then we'll probably be able to see something better from there.